Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Croc the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Avant 3 server, and I've been vandalized. You can look behind me, all those crafting tables are gone, and the, the tinker stuff here in front of me, that's all gone too. And and, and look, my my tinker uh, smeltery, it's, it's toast, because we decided to get rid of them. Uh, yep, we were having some issues with the blue slime from the the Tinker's construct. It was replicating like like a virus across and filling up oceans, and so we decided to pull the plug. And Thor did some fantastic labor on that, and finally we said, "Nope, it's gone," and <laughs> yanked it. So I've got holes here around that I need to clear up. And to take care of that, I went ahead and made a all-in-one tool. Let's put my sword there, and here's my all-in-one tool, and it's pretty sweet. Uh, 10.5 attack damage, 8, 80, 880, or 8,800 <laughs> durability. So 8,800. Uh, compared that to my 1,500 for the sword, you know, a little bit less. Oh, so anyway, uh, really cool. And so we're we're doing that, and so this is my new tool. Watch, watch, ha, watch, ha. And I also wanted to welcome some people onto the server. I think I missed mentioning them, but just in case I didn't, I'll mention them again. Uh, Relic Gaming is on the server right now and is doing some good stuff and should check out his, his videos. He's got a couple out. And also, Brandon C. Lyon is a new member on the FTOG server. And you should take a look at everybody's uh, link down in the description. Check them out, view them, subscribe to them, do all sorts of cool stuff. You know, send them likes and and comments and and diamonds. They they like diamonds. And we're heading over to the Blood Magic area because I did some work. And if we take a quick look, uh, I've got it up to tier three. Uh, tier one is just the altar. Tier two is having the, the the that next row and then here's tier three with the 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 glowstone and i need to make a whole ton load of of slates to and then that uh the bloodstone uh to get that going that's not gonna happen anytime soon but what i did is i went ahead and added this little piece uh along there and then uh, i created a hellfire forge uh, yeah, the, some of the new things that are coming with the, the, the Blood Magic and the, the 1.10. If we take a quick look, let's see, Hellfire Forge. Uh, pretty pretty cheap. Iron, iron, block of iron, stone, gold, and done. And if you right-click it, you've got this cool interface. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and make something right here. And it needs to be powered by something and to power that we need will so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these demonic wills here let's see that's 1.0 1.0 1.0 and that uh, yeah you can see I did the little things off camera so um, you can take a will this one only has a 0.23 in it let's see if that's sufficient oh it is and it's going and it's powering it up and boom done very nice very nice all right this gives me my arcane ashes that i've been looking for and it still 1.23 so it didn't actually charge any of that when i made uh the sentient sword that actually did require here let's uh near hell for with a t there we go sentient sword uh, that required a regular iron sword in the, the forge with this petty tartaric gem. And to make those gems, uh, again the forge, red, you know, redstone, gold, some sort of blue dye of some sort. I used lapis because I got it, and glass. And I used one of those uh, wills and made that sword. And then I took the sword to the mob farm and went, watcha, 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 watcha. And, and that gave me uh, a bunch of these wills, which is very nice. So I've got that. I also, once I equipped this in my hotbar, then I was able to, to fill it with a bunch of will in there. It's, see, it's got almost 59 will, which is pretty cool, but uh, not what we're going to deal with right now. And yeah, I should have shown that off, but I didn't because I'm a terrible person. So I'm going to go ahead and slap that right there. And oh, cool. It, it used a little durability here. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, it used a little bit of durability. Alrighty, do I have 
let's see, I wanted to make a divination sigil. And that says I need this alchemical array, which I just made with the arcane ashes. I need redstone, a blank slate, and that'll give me the divination. So blank slate, CA. Alrighty, and then I need redstone. So let's do the redstone first. Right click. Ooh, that changed. And I'm going to right click this in it. Animation. Ooh, even better. And I fell off. And it's getting smaller. Bigger. Poof. Done. Divination sigil. Ooh, we've got some essence here. Uh, I have a tier 3 altar, it tells me, and it's full, which is very cool. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that in here, and along with my ashes. So cool, I can go ahead and do that, which is very, very nice. These are just blank runes here. These are runes of sacrifice. Uh, so if I kill a mob, because I've got uh, my sacrificial dagger, I thought I had made a... Oh, maybe I haven't made it. Uh, let's see. I need to make a sacrificial... this thing. The Dagger of Sacrifice. Oh, that just requires an Iron Sword. I do believe I got that. Sword. I've got one of those. Dagger. Did I not make one? I thought maybe I made one. Alright, let's just go ahead and make an Iron Sword. Gimme. And, oh, right click with this. Oh, I need to program this so that it doesn't suck it right out. There, now it's smart. Go, 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 go. And I, you know, I can't remember if I showed off what I did underneath here. Let's jump down real quick. I have here a power source, it's just a, one of those capacitor banks, and I stuck in here an environmental controller, and it's only using 5 RF per tick. Uh, I have a saturation module and the regen plus in here, and you can see they're using teeny tiny amounts per cubic block. Well, I'm doing it the smallest amount, which is a radius of 5, and then the height of just where I need it as far as the altar up there. So that allows me to come up here and if I've got my dagger, yep, that's done, I can stand here with my dagger and give me the regen. Give me there, the regen. And I can go stab, 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 and it regens really fast. And I, I don't lose any hunger because I'm fully saturated. So it's fantastic for filling up the altar. So that's what I do there. Let's grab my Dagger of Sacrifice. Cool. So now I can start pumping mobs into here. Probably villagers because they give such a huge bang for the buck. And I'll just go ahead and sacrifice them. And that'll feed up the blood here. And when I get sufficient to uh, upgrade to the next tier and then get some of the rituals going, I will go ahead and build the rituals underneath. But yeah, I think that's enough for magic right now. Let's dump the stuff that I don't need back into here. And we're going to head back to base and do some other things. All right, so back here we're... Whoa. Oh, hey. It got all fixed. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, I think maybe the base fixing fairy came by and, and fixed up my base and put the alabaster around, which is almost as useful as having a laundry fairy because, you know, you. You take your dirty clothes, you stick them in a pile, and, and poof, it comes back folded. It's wonderful. Ring. Oh, see, there you go, laundry fairy. It's wonderful. But that's not what we're talking about right now. No, instead, I want to do a little soul sharding. I want to go ahead and get uh, some shards going so that I can uh, have something for the, the blood magic in the bottom of my altar. So let's do this, do this, do this and right click with this poof and now I have an unbound soul shard so if I jump over to the base no spawn that other place everything's loading in alright so zip over here I'm thinking Enderman 
because they have a bunch of health so that should uh, work fairly nicely so let's go ahead and spawn one of you guys and yeah they're gonna die fairly quickly with this but all I need to do is kill one did I? let's see kills three alright so it's bound to an enderman that's what I needed to get done alrighty so let's go ahead and turn that off and let them finish dying here die 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 uh, I really don't need... Uh, I'm gonna keep all those things, because they're cool. Uh, I did notice something over here. Somebody went ahead and set up a, a free XP chest. Uh, you can just... this is the super XP frame. You just punch it and it'll store the stuff for you. And hey, lots and lots of bottles so people can go ahead and do their things. Oh, there's Dragon. Yeah, he's streaming right now. So I'm gonna head off. And you should check out Toddy's video. He's uh, showing off his new uh, hub over here for people. And it looks fantastic. And he's done so much. Howdy! He's done so much uh, chiseling here to make this look really cool. Uh, you should check out his video. And I decided to go ahead and stick my thing over here. It's the same as the, the other one I've got, but uh, I just wanted to claim that space and it's now mine so uh, next thing we need to do is kind of maybe do some excavating at the let's dump this stuff off oh it, I had made those Nyanzu uh, relic thingies that would stop the uh, the mobs from attacking and they stopped working but the update it said that uh, there was an outmoded or outdated version, so I just dropped them in the crafting and up came these charms. And they look like they take some durability, which is less than interesting. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's what happens. And I was also looking at what to do to improve the, the crafting situation. And I was looking at these cloud craft benches and workbenches, but I can't place them anywhere. So cloud, cloud. There, uh, I've got some dense clouds, I've got this cloud craft bench, and maybe I've got to do something, and I've got, I've got to look it up and see what it is, because I can't place it. And I know somebody mentioned that, but I didn't pay attention, so. Anyway, off to the... Whoa. Whoa. Alright, so stuff's going on here. Why, yes, indeedy. Uh, what I went ahead and built here was a quick little uh, mob farm and this uh, little spawner is set up for wither skeletons and let's break that because I don't need that anymore and I originally stuck this little generator <laughs> heat generator no it's a solar generator uh, it doesn't provide a gob of energy uh, this wind generator does more which is nice but between the two of them that uh, certainly works out well and then I can s turn that on grab my uh, dagger of sacrifice I made and then I can just sit there and go give me your blood whack it, whack it, whack it, chop chop and uh, it works so but uh, not gonna do with that uh, if I actually I've got a block of gold here that I want to turn into the the tier 3 orb and oh you shouldn't be taking are you taking any damage you look like you're burning up in the sun but uh, I don't see any hearts going down, so you're fine. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and let these guys build up for a while to give me enough blood so that I can uh, do my block of gold. It needs 25,000 life points in my altar and it holds 10,000. So I need a bunch, bunch more than what I can provide. So I'm going to store this up for a while. So I went ahead and converted that gold block into uh, the tier 3 orb and uh, didn't care about recording it. People have seen blood magic being done, so that that's kind of bog standard. And for the observance, you'll notice that I'm in creative mode here because I'm playing with these uh, soul cages and and the, the the soul shard reborn or original whatever. Uh, I've got a tier one with Enderman there, a tier two there, a tier three, four back there, and five. And yeah, it should have been one, two, three, but I messed up. Anyway, uh, it's the middle of the day, and you can see the tier five is just spitting out Enderman like 
crazy and it is going gangbusters so that works really well I, and I can also take a lever let's come over here slap a lever on there flip it and it's off you can see it's kind of got the the eyes off here and these don't they're still on this one if I stick a lever on it and flip it it doesn't adjust so it doesn't only tier 5 you can turn on and off the problem though is that spits out so many Endermen I really don't want to use that for my blood magical because it's it's just not gonna the ritual won't kill them fast enough so the others are a possibility and so that makes me think okay let's go ahead and set the time to like 20,000 so it's it's nighttime and so here's the the tier 3 the tier 2 ran off uh, here's the tier 3 again, there's the 4, 3 again, 2, you know, the, the 2 might be sufficient for what I'm doing, if not I could push it a little bit further and get the tier 3 going. Uh, so I'm not sure, it depends on how bored I am of, of uh, killing these endermen. Uh, and then I can just put lights around and that will turn off the the spawning so I can use that as a way of turning it on and off so yeah I think I'm gonna go tier 2 maybe push it a little bit and make it tier 3 so that's what I'm gonna do now progress update I have done a few things and let me show you what I've done uh, you can notice there are some things in the ground these are the workbenches that I was wanting to make and this thing here, the, the cloud craft bench, that's not it. This is what I want, just the regular craft bench. And if I look at this, notice that it says cloud workbench, not craft bench, but the cloud workbench. And so that's why I got confused and I, I ended up making uh, this thing here because that's the, what I saw. So. That's not what we want, and the cool thing about these guys is they have an internal storage that keeps the stuff in there, uh, similar to the, the Tinker's Crafting Station uh, that I really like, as opposed to the vanilla where you exit out and all your things fly on the ground, which is not so much fun. Uh, so I've got these uh, in, in place, which is very nice. And also, uh, went ahead and took a look at uh, my soul shard is now tier three, and 256 is the, the number you need for that. So I spent a bunch of time to get that going, and it needs a soul cage. Well, I've got plenty of iron bars, but this corrupted ingot is made with vile dust, which is just smelting out soul sand, and uh, I did some of that, and corrupted essence. And that's just obsidian, redstone, and lapis. And I had one of the corrupted essence and one of the vile dust from something, probably breaking those little uh, fallen branches, stones around in the place. So I need to go ahead and make four of these. I went ahead and made the stuff there. Let's go ahead and make this. There's my soul cage, although I'm not going to be doing that right now. Uh, the other thing here, sleeping bag and sleep charm. Uh, one of the things we were talking about here with the, the sleeping bag, occasionally we've been having problems where you sleep, sleeping bag or in the actual bed, and you get stuck. It turns to day, but you can't get out, and we've been complaining because we've had to close the, the minecraft process completely and uh, get out that way, and that's not been much fun at all. Uh, now, one of the things that it was a real life, uh, one of the viewers commented and said, if you go into the emotes and you take any one of these and you just hit it a whole bunch of time, you'll get disconnected from the server for spamming. And then you just reconnect and you're back in. And that works great. It works really well. It, it's far faster than reloading Minecraft entirely. So we've been using that. And then Toddy went ahead and was saying, well, maybe this, that the problem came with the advent of the Dark Utilities. And there's a sleep charm in the Dark Utilities, which is pretty easy to make. You actually need a red bed. Not just a regular bed, but a red bed. It wants the, the red wool. 
stick sticks and leather and that makes this sleep charm and having that in your inventory when you sleep it's really fast it's not that slow fade out and then boom, you're awake it's just boom you're done really really fast and so that's been working great and then uh, one last thing oh yeah I went ahead and got an extra memory card in here because I want to gather up a few things I went ahead and made an assembler here's the solar panel tier one the cores the solar cells uh, oh, I need 16 structure blocks. I don't need 15. What happened to that? Uh, let's see. Let's go into here. Tier 1. I need... And it's basalt, so I need one more of you. Let's also check. Basalt. Tier 1. Nope, I don't see it in here. So we'll make one more. There, 16. That's what I needed, 16. Uh, I want to start getting some higher tier things. Like if I want to get to tier 3 power, that requires mica. And the only... So what does this need? Block of iron? No. Uh, it requires mica. And the only way to get mica is using the void resource miner. And so I'm going to make me a void resource miner. And it's it's pretty slick. Let's see. Daytime, daytime. Let's go down. It needs to see the void or bedrock, either one. And so over here, since I don't want to drill a hole in my hill, because I'm planning on building stuff above it, over here there is my hole down to bedrock. And let's go up. Where is my angel? All right, let's turn on my waypoint, void on and there it is, it's high enough I can see it. Let's go a little higher. Alright, right here is where the... <laughs> close enough. Yes, perfect, that's what I wanted. Okay, so if I take the controller and plop that on top, plop, then I can left click with this and it says how many bits it needs so nine solar cells, four modified cores, and sixteen structural blocks and that's exactly what we got for nine sixteen and so I can and it should give me eleven hundred RF per tick which is plenty so if I right click yeah holding the, the having the shield doesn't work so nicely I have to keep clicking all right, that should be completely built, which is nice. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Go away. You're an angel block. You're supposed to just break when I hit you. And do I not have my magnet on? I evidently do not have my magnet on. I want that back. All right, and let's get these guys down. This power is gonna go right there. And yep, there it is, sucking up some, some power, which is cool. And I can turn this waypoint off now. And let's get that, because I want that angel block. All right, so I've got a resource miner tier two for the void. Nope, I want to click you there. And this builds down. So, and this is why I went ahead and built the assembler. This piece up here is pretty easy to make. It doesn't require anything special. Uh, it does require some lights. So let's go ahead and torch up the sides real quick. There. Uh, so, but this one down here requires a whole lot more and it's more complicated. So left click, it needs 32 structure blocks, three laser cores, 16 machine bases, four cores, and a clear lens or some variant of that, which I should have. Four, 16, 32, three, and one. So I'm going to take my shield off, because that's giving me grief. And if I right-click this, you can see it's just building up the structure below me. I think that's done. It is done. And boom, it is now blasting down into the void. And let me take this storage crate, and I'm going to drop it right next to it. Plop. And... I'm curious if I, uh, let's see, shift right click and let's turn the input off so it's just 
out. 65. 65 RF per tick. That's nothing. That's nothing at all. So that works out really well. Let's go ahead and turn the, the input back on. And at this point, this structure here is blasting down into the void and should start pumping stuff that it finds into here. Here we go. Hardened stone, stone, netherrack, dirt, red sand, clay, and some podzol. Ooh, cool. I wonder if it's going to get some of that uh, mycelium too. It should. And occasionally it should spit up some uh, mica. That's what I'm looking for. And if I get the mica, then I can upgrade these modifier cores that should make it uh, better, which is going to be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and light this thing up because we don't want any mobs spawning in here because that would be, hey, because that would be bad. In fact, I think that's all lit up. Done. So there is my resource gathering, and I'm I'm thinking because I don't know how many people have wandered around to find Podzol. Uh, I might be able to throw up a shop in there in uh, the the spawn area and sell some of these more rare uh, pieces like uh, well I could say end stone but uh, we're, we're gonna do the end dragon uh, this weekend oh there we go moss stone that's cool uh, but podzol mica definitely is something that if people want to jump right to a tier 3 thing they can do that but uh, cool cool I am happy with this that should work out very very nicely and I don't think this chunk loads so it should work when I'm in here, or uh, Toddy is, is in his base. That should uh, drill me a, a whole bunch of good resources. And there's an equivalent that eats a whole lot more energy, which is the ore miner. And I may set up one of those, which is kind of cool. But yeah, it probably needs a tier 3 power to set that up. And this is... This, oh, oh, nope. Ah, darn it. I was thinking that was mica. Nope, it's alabaster. Oh well. That's not nearly as interesting as what I was hoping. But it will give me all the different colored stained clays, and I'm liking those. Anyway, I think this has been uh, a bunch of random different things, but it's uh, it's been working. It's been working well. And I'm liking it. There. Oh, something that we, we found. Notice how dark it was? It's really dark, everything's kind of flat, and then it's bright. If you're in this first person look with F1, if you hit F7 to turn on the the mob lighting, it gets really, really dark. But if you turn that off, it's back again. So anyway, uh, that's something that, that puzzled me for a while until I figured that out. But I've got stuff and things all done. And I was sick and tired of doing more blood magic, so I said, tech stuff. Got to get a void mil dr driller going on here and get some resources. So, progress. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG Avant 3 server, having a blast, and hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.